Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Nikki van der Westhuizen, and I'm currently doing my MSc studies at Stellenbosch University. Uh, the title of my project is the response of apple tree performance and the route development to low flow drip irrigation. Uh, now, before I start, I'd just like to thank Wordgrow and Netafim for funding this study, as without them it wouldn't be possible, and then also Fruitways for allowing us to do the trial on their farm. So the trial itself, it is in the Elgin Valley, uh, Grabo, um, on one of Fruitways farms, and the orchard itself, it is uh, Golden Delicious Apples on MM109 rootstocks, um, and this orchard during the 2022 to 2023 season had its third year of bearing. So then my treatments, I had four treatments. Treatment one, 0 0.4 liter per hour drippers, uh, double line, uh, 0 0.6 meter spacing between drippers, and then treatment two, 0 0.7 liter per hour drippers, single line, 0 0.6 meter spacing between drippers, then treatment three, 1.6 liter per hour drippers, um, also double line, 0 0.6 meter spacing between drippers, and then treatment four, micro sprinklers with a 32 liter per hour uh, delivery rate, and these were one micro sprinkler between two trees, and it was the upside down uh, micro sprinklers. Now, um, when we talk about low flow drip, we generally refer to drip, drippers that has a dis discharge rate of less than one liter per hour, um, and treatment one, two, and three, um, ran for almost uh, every day throughout the season, mostly, um, and then treatment four was twice a week, uh, depending on the weather. So then for the water distribution pattern that I drew up, uh, we installed excess tubes into the soil, um, and then I used the Diviner 2000 to measure the soil water contents. So for the root studies, um, we did, um, we used the profile wall method to do root studies before the irrigation season, and then we found that there was a good root distribution um, of the trees, and we're also, also going to do it now after the season again. Um, the irrigation control system that I'm using is AgriWiz. So AgriWiz is a cloud-based software brain that creates fertilizer and irrigation recommendations out of information. So the results that I found so far is that for the leaf era index treatment two, the 0.7 liter per hour drip single line at the highest leaf era index of 3.2. Then the irrigation quantities, um, all the drip delivered are around the same amount of water, around 1,500 cubic meters per hectare. However, the uh, micro sprinklers delivered 4,600 cub cubic meters per hectare, which is three times more than the drip. Then the harvest, so treatment two, again, the single line, 0 0.7 liter per hour drip at the highest yield. Um, however, it was not significantly different from any of the other treatments. Uh, the size split, so yeah, I'd just like to point your attention to in the large size class, treatment two, again, the 0 0.7 liter per hour single line drip um, had significantly more fruit um, than treatment one and treatment three. From the quality analysis that was done by Experico, um, we found that the firmness of treatment one was significantly firmer, while for treatment two, uh, the 0 0.7 line single, 0 0.7 liter per hour drip single line, um, it was the size and the mass was bigger, while for the color uh, treatment for the micro sprinklers did best. Uh, for the plant stress, we measured the mid stem water potentials throughout the season, and um, the trees never really experienced any stress. However, during the uh, cell um, enlargement uh, phenological phase, stress was at its highest, but this was during the December-January time period where temperatures was at its highest. And also interesting to note is that um, the micro sprinklers had the lowest uh, stress um, throughout the season. So then the water distribution patterns, so the pictures on the left represents before the irrigation started, and then the pictures on the right represents after the irrigation. Um, and then it's the 0 0.4, the 0 0.7s, and the 1.6s. Um, and what is evident here is that the 0.4s uh, weights a much smaller uh, area relatively to the other drip treatments. So this is the water distribution of the micro sprinklers. The two pictures at the top is parallel with the micro sprinkler, and the two pictures at the bottom is 90 degrees to the micro sprinkler, um, also before and after irrigation. And what is evident here is that a lot of water is moving past the active root zone, and irrigation is not happening as efficiently. 
So some of my prelim preliminary conclusions is that um, the microsprinklers use three times more water than the drip, and that treatment two, the 0.7 liter per hour single line drip, tended to deliver the highest yield, while uh, treatment one wetted the smallest uh, area, hence in the future can lead to better control of soil moisture, soil moisture within the active root zone, and also that um, low flow drip can produce uh, high yield with a high quality. Thank you for your time.